This is Canadian Matt, and welcome to the A 90s Kid YouTube channel. Now, when formatting a drive to XFAT with a Mac, oftentimes an EFI partition is created. It's only 209 megabytes and usually invisible, but for some reason the PS4 wants to use it, which results in the insufficient space error. We need to delete this partition, but don't worry, it won't affect anything already on your drive, so no backup is necessary. Now, step one plug in the external drive to your computer. We'll be using the built in app Terminal. You can type Terminal into Spotlight or go to Applications, Utilities, Terminal. In the Terminal window, type Disk Util Space List. Now this shows a list of every drive connected to the computer and its partitions. We want to find your external drive. The lowest number drive is usually your internal drive, and in my case, my external drive is Disk 1. Type Disk Util Space Unmount Disk with a capital D space forward slash dev forward slash disk and in my case one and in your case whichever number is your external drive press enter now type sudo space gpt space remove space minus i space one space disk one in my case and in your case whichever number is your external drive if it asks for your password type that in and press enter it's completely normal to not see the cursor moving while typing. The terminal window will let you know it was successful, and you're done. That's it. Your PS4 should now recognize the correct drive, and you can copy your captured gameplay, screenshots, and saves. Now, if your problem is that the PS4 is not recognizing your external drive at all, make sure it's formatted to XFAT or FAT32 first before going through these steps. I recommend XFAT over FAT32 because FAT32 has a file size limit of 4 gigabytes and a partition size of 32 gigabytes. And the great thing about XFAT and FAT32 is that they are readable on the PS4, Mac, and Windows all at the same time. Thanks for watching, and let me know in the comments below if you need any further clarification. Bye for now.